We now have uh, Kelly McAloon with the Snellville Tourism and Trade Association. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Our last meeting was held on March 19th. Everything is going well, and um, our next big event is the Beach Blast, which will be held on May 19th. We have 60 tons of sand that's going to be dumped on the green. So this is a great way to kick off your summer right and have some fun with that on the green. Since our last report, I'm happy to announce that the Snellville Farmers Market has 36 approved vendors. Their opening day is Saturday, June 2nd from 8 to 12. And behind me should be Susan and Marcy with the cookbooks for sale for $20. So if you don't have your cookbook, you need to see one of these guys after and get a, a Farmers Market cookbook. Our Snellville Spirit Magazine will be mailed out to all homes inside the city limits of Snellville mid-April just before Easter and will be available in stands throughout the city at local businesses and at City Hall. We are still looking for admissions for the magazine, so if you have something interesting you'd like to share, please visit our STAT website. And I'm happy to announce that STAT is extending an arm to help sponsor a Beach Blast Run benefiting the Snellville Citizens Police Academy and the Rotary Club. We are working with the Chief and Sergeant Roberts to map out a route for the 5 and 10K run. There will be a mile fun run inside the park for kids 7 to 12 years of age. For more information on this run, please visit beachblastruninfo at gmail.com where you can sign up to register online and of course select which sponsorship you may be interested in. We are also going to be selling tickets for an all-inclusive five-night Caribbean cruise for two, and tickets are only $10 each. Raffles for the cruises will be available next week. We hope everyone helps support this event. And I want to really thank Kathy Emanuel for all her time and effort in helping us get the forms, the setup, and everything ready to go for this race, because it does take a lot of work, and it takes folks to do it and Kathy's been very instrumental. Any questions? I don't have a question Kelly but I do, I do have a comment. I was at the uh, Rotary Club meeting on March 20th mm -hmm. and uh, I, that was a, I think the first time I'd heard about the race and, and something I said to them I'd like to repeat to you is that you know in building community you have groups of people who work in their area mm -hmm. and to me um, the next, next natural step for Snellville is to get these small communities intertwined with each other. And for that one day, this one coming up be the first time that I know of where we have three of our organizations. We have STAT, we have the Police Academy, and Rotary all working mm -hmm. together and benefiting. I mean, and that's what I think really community is, is when all, we intertwine groups together and uh, we mingle, we get to know each other better. We, that really brings the community together and makes it stronger. And I commend STAT and the Rotary Club and the Police Academy group for putting their heads together and, and bringing this to fruition. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. We're excited. So we hope to see everybody either running, sponsoring, or helping us in some way. Thank you. All right. And we have a lot of setup, so. <laughs> thank you. Um, Mr. George. <coughs> 